Okay guys, so I'm going to talk about spice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to talk about spices because it seems like y'all forget that's how you get jiggy on keto. Now, what's the big deal? If you don't know about spices, do okay, do some spices have carbohydrates? Yes. Are some spices allergens to certain people? Yes, like black, black pepper. Yes. Um, sometimes add sugar, carbs to your spices. Yes. So that's why you've got to pick and choose your spices very in a smart fashion. So I love to collect spices. I've got buckets of them everywhere. And when I was in Nashville, this woman gave me... Um, her brand or her store was Savory Spice and she gave me like a million herbs and whatnot, tons of stuff to play with different like coriander and all I mean literally all different kinds of yummy nutmeg mm, yummy 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 lots of yummy different spices I've got a ton of them all over my kitchen and all over my apartment some of my favorite ones are really basic. So here we go. We've got, um, this is licorice. You can't read it because it's in Danish. I got it in Denmark. This stuff I make teas out of. Oh my, this is so delicioso. This licorice powder, yo, I like use it as like any other type of spice that you would do for baked goods and fun things and yumminess and it's so delicioso. Love it. But I use this a lot in my teas. The lighting kind of sucks. What's up with the lighting? Where's the lighting? Let's put the lighting in. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Okay. So licorice powder. But another disgustingly amazing spice it's vanilla bean powder. Look at that stuff, right? If you can't see, it's pretty chocolatey looking in there. This is so yummy. I also make tea, so what I... People are like always talk about fatty tea. They're like, what's the fatty tea? You just add fat, yes, to the tea. Butter, coconut oil, things of this nature. I'm not in love with the creams because I'm getting bad results on the glucometer and people who are using the carry gold butter tend to have better uh, stability with their keto adaptation. Um, but uh, let's keep going. So what I like to do is I'll take, like this is the licorice powder, I'll take the vanilla bean powder, I'll go and hold on, hold on just one freaking moment. Now, this is very interesting because, you know, it all depends on your carb tolerance, but look at this stuff right here, right? So we've got some coconut oil, and you can't hear anything because it's been sitting in the back of my refrigerator, so we want the water to separate from the fat because the water is where the carbs are at, and that's a big no, 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 no. That's what we don't want. We don't want the freaking sugar. A lot of you guys have issues with coconut cream, so I'm really reluctant to even show you. I can handle it. My carb tolerant level can handle it. But that doesn't mean that that's across the board, one size fits all for the rest of you. But what I like to do is I'll take about a third of a cup of the cream, and then I'll take two of these vanilla and licorice spice and hot water. And here's the kicker. I'll put some, do 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 do, boom! Some of new naturals because that cow stevia, yo, they've let me down. They started adding multidextrin to it. It's just from corn starch or rice starch, they ruined it. It actually tastes worse. It was so much better when it was just stevia extract. Now I don't buy from them anymore. I've got videos saying, oh, get cow stevia. And now I'm like, no. Now we've got new naturals. They're all supposed to be, be also supposed to be debittered. But cow really was the the old cow before maltodextrin was so delicious. But I'll put that 
with the coconut cream, with a little bit of water, with a little bit of what? I'll either use ah, I'll use the use the uh, Celtic salt or the both or the Himalayan salt. Put that in the tea as well. Um, and if I really want to get really funky with it in the winter time, I'll add some French vanilla cream from uh, stevia. Flavor, yes, from Whole Foods. That's what I like to do is I like to spice my stuff. When I cook a lot, I use nutritional yeast. Yes, it is inactive, so it will not affect your candida. It's high in B6, I believe, which is so good for your immune system. Yes, so nutritional yeast is what I often use. Yes, 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 yes. Fantastic, Bobby. Um, so these are the spices. I'm a spice person. When you start doing keto, don't just go for the carb replacements. Learn how to make your food taste fantastic. I'll take the coconut cream. I'll add curry. I'll make a curry sauce. Um, I'll do an herb sauce with water. I'll use nutritional yeast. Um, it tastes a little bit like Parmesan cheese, which is amaze balls. And for the sweet stuff, some of oh, of course, of course. How can I forget? How can I? My Ceylon cinnamon. It's almost gone. Gosh, when you open up the top, smells so good. It's got a slight cinnamon uh, smell and a little chocolatey. So when I made my ice cream videos a while back, I would use some Ceylon cinnamon. Uh, if I do my teas, I'll use stevia, I'll use Himalayan salt or the flavored stevia, or I'll just add the vanilla powder, powder or the uh, licorice powder and the cream and uh, or just water, a little Himalayan salt, Celtic salt, and I go to town with that, and that's really like my sweet treat. And then I'll add fat to it. I can add butter, I can add coconut oil or MCT oil to the tea. Kablammy! Yes, amaze balls. What else? Okay, so there's the whole fat bomb controversy. I get a little worried about people who do fat bombs. Now, in some aspects, it's okay because we're going from people who ate like McDonald's and like really poor quality foods and um, to like ice cream at night and they, they still are looking for that thing. Now in some instances eating something that's a sweet replacement or stevia doesn't kick you out of ketosis. It does not raise your blood glucose. I've never seen it on all these glucometers that people have used. Now is it possible to happen? Yes. I have not seen it so far. No, I have not. Okay, so with stevia. So stevia is approved. Xylitol, maltitol, Throw it, wipe your butt with it, because it's disgusting. There's shit ball, or sorry, uh, shite ball stuff. And I'm already into my video, so I'm not gonna re I'm not gonna start over. Sorry, guys. Um, but uh, the fat bombs are can all these like fun fat snacks. Your snacks must be fat based. They cannot be vegetables, nor protein, no pork rinds, no turkey jerky, no eggs, no. No celery, no hummus, no. It's got to be fat-based, so of course people like to make fat bombs. How I make my fat bombs every once in a while, which it tastes like Reese's Cups, I swear, is I will take some, this is my favorite brand right here. This is coconut butter, this is the meat of the coconut. Now, does this make some people's glucose spike? Yes. If that's you, don't listen because you can't have this. This is not for you. How do you know? Test your blood glucose. Are you having an insulinogenic effect in the afternoon? If you are, get rid of this. If I'm not adapting, get rid of it. But for me, I can handle it. So I'll take a couple tablespoons of the coconut butter. I will take a couple tablespoons of the coconut oil. I will take some Kerrygold butter. I'll take some Himalayan salt. I'll take some stevia. I will take some of my spices here. Oops. That's my MTHFRG mutation supplement of B12 methylated down there. I just dropped. And I will take some of these spices like right here, or or the Ceylon cinnamon here, right? And what you do is you grind it all together into this really amazing paste. Okay, so you grind it all together in a bowl, and you could eat, actually put it into little molds, like 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 chocolate. If you're trying to make your own chocolate candy molds, like hearts or Reese's cup shape, and you just paste it into the molds and put it in the refrigerator, and then it gets hard. 
and then you just pop it out and you've got like a little Reese's cup. The base of it would be the coconut butter. I use no cacao because it has, a, it has another stimulant compound very similar to caffeine that will kick your ass out of ketosis. So I use Ceylon, which is more medicinal, which is good for the pipes, which is very like antiseptic, antimicrobial, really, really amazing to calm the old stomach. And so I just use spices. I started off this whole video saying that I'm a spice person. If I make people, I've said this before, if I'm making noodles, I'll cut cabbage. I will do, um, I will put some, um, I'll either do like a curry sauce or I will literally just do a quarter or half of a tomato and I don't really cook it. It's semi raw. It's semi, it's sauteed, sauteed real fast with some grass fed beef with the nutritional yeast, yes, and um, I'll fry my cabbage noodles in butter. It's so delicious and I'll add spice and that's the thing. You guys need to learn how to use spices. Of course, I need, need to do more video series on food, but for now I'm trying to get the science out of the body. I'm doing a bunch of videos so I thought I'll just do a bunch of products and skin products and toothpaste and hair products and, and cleaning products and spices and foods and things that I eat. Um, so coconut butter, it's also called coconut manna for people who live in other countries who cannot find what we call it here, which is the coconut butter, which is the meat of the coconut. It's not mixed with anything else. You find these weird like coconut butter and they actually add canola oil. Nope, nope, nope. So this stuff is so great. Maize balls. Love this stuff. Stevia. You can use stevia. I also use a powdered stevia for baking from now, stevia. But when I'm doing like a quick little tea, I'll use New Naturals. That's an awesome brand. Yes, New Naturals is very, very cool. Um, so, yes. Um, for those who don't, who, who feel that carb replacements, whack them out, get them craving, then don't. I really suggest people not to because, you know, I'm the strict one. Uh, for me, I can do a fatty tea and I can uh, add stevia. It does not get me to crave carbs or sugars or anything. It just satisfies me at that moment. I can handle it for those who cannot. For those who've got sugar cravings, for those who are zinc, magnesium deficient, who run towards chocolate, don't. And use the Ceylon cinnamon, which is from Sri Lanka. It's hard to find. Got to go on Amazon, most likely. The company is called Frontier. They sell it for sure, I know that for sure, because I've ordered tons of Ceylon from Frontier, which Frontier is a company that does a lot of natural products, food products and whatnot. So if you guys want to learn more, how to get into ketosis, how to find the right stevia, how to um, be more aware and conscious about making your foods very palatable, learning how to pre-cook your foods, package your foods to keep you away from the bad foods, then go to Stephanie first, not kind of Stephanie the business person, my Facebook fan page, or Stephanie Ketogenic on my Instagram. You know what? I'm about to peace out. Because I got some energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah.